I'm really bad at this. That's okay, because I can think of a better way to get my yarn fix. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you one of the latest releases from Nintendo, Yoshi's Woolly Wo Nate, what the hell? Where'd, where'd the video go, man? Dude, I'm checking, I'm checking. I found it. It says here Nintendo removed it because of a copyright claim? Copyright claim? Son of a bitch! Well guys, another new game from Nintendo has finally hit their current gen console, and you know what? This isn't going to be easy. Things are a little weird on the internet right now. Nintendo has this habit of telling people that they can't show off their games. Doesn't make any sense. But, luckily for me, I've got my buddy Nate back there to help me with this. Hi Nate! We're good. Okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce you to Green Dinosaur Textile Planet. Whoa! How are you doing that? Why, that's the magic of video editing. I can get rid of anything crude, uninteresting, or just ugly. Wow, that's really cool. What else can you do? I could do this. Hey! So for those of you who are familiar with Nintendo, likely know that there exist several games about this green dinosaur on his island. There was a game on the SNES, a remake on the Game Boy Advance, uh, there was a sequel on the DS, there's another game on the 3DS, and there was also a story about him on the N64. Very similar gameplay, but still, I didn't include it. You should include it too. These games all share their play styles with this new game in the Wii U. Side-scrolling, puzzle-platforming adventure. This one was developed by Goodfield Games. But Goodfield didn't just rehash the same tired concept and slap into the Wii U. No, they gave it an incredibly pleasant aesthetic. Nintendo fans will likely know who the Pink Puff Pastry is, a beloved Nintendo character whose main traits are his ability to copy enemy abilities and his insatiable lust for strawberry shortcake. Well, he had his own game called Pink Puff's Epic Yarn, which featured a creative aesthetic wherein everything was made of yarn. And it's this stylization that Goodfield implemented into Green Dinosaur's Textile Planet. Hey Nate, can uh, can you get that? Oh yeah, sure. Yes, thanks. Tell him to come back later. Okay. Sorry about that. Anyway, like I was saying, we've seen this type of stylization before in Pink Puff's Pastry and Epic Yarn, but a two-dimensional universe. Here, the models are in the third dimension, making the game feel like a 2.5-dimensional universe. That shit's insane. Hey, Tyler. Tyler. What are you? Uh, our mom wanted you to watch us today. The what? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait. That's today? Alright, okay, no, that's fine. No, uh, you guys sit on the couch. Nate and I are making a video, though, so, you know, just keep quiet, okay? Can I play your Game Boy? Y yeah, yeah, okay, I'll go, yeah, you can play my Game Boy, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Not including the main hub where all worlds are connected, this game features six long worlds that players can immerse themselves in. There's six main stages, two castle stages, and one special stage if you get all the flowers in each level. That's about... Mmm, 54 long stages. Fans of this series may be disappointed that there's only six worlds instead of eight, but what we're focusing on here, folks, is quality. And what this game has, oh, quality. No two stages are alike. Every single one implements something new that players can look forward to. My favorite stage right now is where your yarn balls are replaced by these yarn birds. And what you do, it's like Angry Birds. You take the bird and you throw it, and it poops out a little white cloud trail. And you can walk on that little white cloud trail. Uncle Tyler, this game looks stupid. Can't we just play Call of Duty? No, no, no! Uh, looks like you're good, Ty. Activision doesn't care if we use their games. That's stupid. Well, Uncle Tyler, do we have to play this game? I want to play Call of Duty. This is stupid. Nah, shut up, we're playing this one. Once again, as is becoming a theme with Nintendo, this game comes with a whole bunch of new amiibo. Next time, time. Yeesh. Don't. Right. Right. Okay, think, think, think. As is becoming a theme with Nintendo, they released a whole bunch of new character knickknacks to go with this game. And, you know, kind of like they did with Squiddy Kitty Ink and Splitty, uh, there's only three. If you're not including the Mega one that's coming out later this month, and somehow they have even less functionality. I, in Squiddy Kitty, Ink, and Splitty, all they did was offer you challenges for the levels that you already cleared. 
In this one, all you get is a freaking costume. A costume? Well, no, there is a little more functionality than that. If you use the character Knickknack in the game, you'll actually get another green dinosaur to play with you. It's kind of like Fantastic Plumber's 3D Planet. Yeah, that's, that's a good game, right? In the Fantastic Plumber's game, you can get a cherry that splits you up so you control two of the same characters. And it sucked. It was, I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. God, you know what? I'd show you what I'm talking about. But you know. This game offers a couple of various gameplay styles, and each style lets you use any one of four different controller types. You have the gamepad, the classic controller, the pro controller, and the Wiimote and nunchuck combo. Man, talk about versatile. Can I use this? No, you cannot. The single player modes offer two different gameplay styles. You have classic mode and mellow mode. Now, classic mode, that's what the game series has always been. Side scrolling, throwing yarn balls, or eggs as it was, the flutter jumps to get up to different platforms, enemies all over the place, puzzles, all the good stuff. But mellow mode is the casual gaming mode for those who just want a pleasant experience without the stress of the standard side scroller. The green dinosaur has wings instead of his flutter kicks, and it seems enemies are few and far between. I'm not really certain of this, because I haven't really played Mellow Mode, opting for the standard challenge of the game. Now, there is a multiplayer mode too, and again, it's standard and mellow. Hey Nate! You're up, buddy. Awesome. Scoot over. Alright. Man, I love this game. So much fun. Dude, stop eating me! I'm sorry, I was trying to get the guy. Dude, come on! I'm I am seriously not trying to do this to you, okay? I'm sorry. Oh shit! Dude, die! What? Come on! Dude, don't hit me in front of my nephews. Dude, guys, guys, guys! Oh, come with me! Come with me! You there? You there? Yay! You're sitting here. You're staying there, okay? There's a few quirky things about this game that are, I guess, well, quirky for lack of a better term, and it's just things that bother me. For example, in Mellow Mode, you can pay the gems that you collect in order to skip levels. Now, I know it's just an option and you don't have to use it, but that... that drives me nuts. I hate games where you can pay to skip levels. Fluttering. The fluttering! Yeah, that's another thing that's really driving me insane. In this game, the green dinosaur, when he jumps and does a little flutter kick, he does a little eh thing. And, you know, there's certain times when you have to jump and flutter frequently, so it's like... Oh, God, it's headache inducing. But now imagine how that is times two. <sighs> I wish I could show you, because now it just sounds like I'm complaining about nothing. Gotta think of a visual representation. Okay, 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 right, 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 right. okay, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, okay? Are you good? Hey guys, what's with all the yelling? <sighs> I'm trying to make a point. And I have a headache. What are you guys playing? It's, uh... Okay, playing this. You want to sit down? Yeah, sure. Here, right. up, bud. Up, up. All right. Oh, I remember this game. It was something about patches and temporary powers that you'd pay for or something. Oh yeah, you know what? I mentioned that earlier, but I didn't really elaborate on it. In this game, you collect gems, kind of like coins in Fantastic Plumber Bros. But uh, you actually get to keep them, and you can use them to spend on patches later on that give you temporary power-ups. But you know, there's some good ones. There's like infinite watermelon. That's a fun one. You spit seeds right in their faces. Just <laughs> then you also you also get ones that are like, you know what? If you fall in a hole, no problem. We'll put you back out of the hole. Really good stuff. Oh look, it's one of those special yarn balls. Break that promise. What does the yarn do? Oh well, uh, in each stage, there's five of them, and you collect them all. You get a new color variant for your green dinosaur. So what do the colors do? They, they look nice. So there isn't a point? No, there's no point. All right, well, this has been quite a video. And it sucks that I can't show you everything that I talked about and everything that I wanted to show you. Things are a little weird with Nintendo right now, but you'll have to take our word for it that this is a really, really good game and well worth getting on the Wii U. Calling back to the hyperbole and a half pain scale, this ranks in at a two. Now, why a two instead of a zero? Well, the multiplayer bits, they're not awful but they're annoying, and Nate hits really hard. Hey, Uncle Tyler. I'm here to pick up the boys. Oh, hey, Ryan. How you doing? Good. What you guys playing? Oh, you know, it's, uh... Yoshi's Woolly World! <laughs> yeah!
I just wanted to take a quick moment and say thank you to my niece and nephews, Ryan, Aiden, and Evan for helping me with this video. Thank you, Stacy, for bringing them out. Thank you, Zach and Nate, for helping me with this video. And of course, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to Geek Talks Gaming for more videos. If you want to leave me a comment in the comment section below, I'll get back to as many of you as I can. Stay awesome, don't do anything that I wouldn't do, and I will catch you in the next video.